Hey everyone, Joel Lance here. Today we're outside Fat Boy's Pizza in Metairie, Metairie, basically just outside New Orleans, Louisiana at Fat Boy's Pizza. Super excited because today we're going to do their two foot slice challenge. It's an absolutely massive slice of pizza. Um, if you beat Joey Chestnuts and Jeff Esper's record, you get 2,500 bucks. I, we, I'm, it's not going to happen today, guys, but they are amazing eaters, so if you're not familiar, definitely check them out. Um, but yeah, anyway, so today we are going to eat the slice of pizza. We have seven minutes to eat the massive slice of pizza. Only seven minutes. They said there's about a four to five percent success rate, so that's like one out of 20. And so yeah, we're going to see what we can do, have some fun. A lot of people came out here. We can't wait to meet them all. Can't wait to eat this pizza. Smells great, looks great. So let's eat this massive slice of pizza. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Fat Boy's Pizza. It's a special edition of the Fat Boy's Pizza Two Foot Eating Challenge. Our first contestant comes all the way to us from Ontario, Canada. He's out of the blue corner. He's wearing a blue shirt with the pineapple. He is the Guinness Book of World Record holder for the most ice cream eaten in 30 seconds. He's currently ranked number one in Canada on the competitive eating tour. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Joel Hansen! Yeah. In the red corner, coming to us all the way from Los Angeles, California. She's wearing the pizza hoodie. She has multiple dumpling eating competition championships under her belt. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rena Wong! Our competitors, for you guys watching at home, here are the rules. There's a two foot slab of pizza on the table in front of these guys. They have seven minutes to eat that pizza. When this clock strikes zero, all of that pizza must be off of that tray and in your mouth. You do not have to have it swallowed, but you do have to swallow it. You cannot take anything out of your mouth at the seven after it goes to zero. As long as you want to swallow it. If you can complete the challenge, we're going to give you a $20 gift card from Fat Boy's Pizza Woo! and a t-shirt that says, I conquered the two-foot challenge at Fat Boy's Pizza. If you can beat the all-time record set by none other than Joey Chestnut, I think you both know who he is, 40 seconds, we're still going to give you the t-shirt. Well, we're going to throw in $2,500 cash. 40 seconds from $2,500 in cash. I'm going to count you down. Three, two, one, eat. And when I do, it's time to go. You can't do anything to the pizza until I say eat. Once I say eat, you can cut it, roll it, fold it, whatever your strategy is. It's all go. No time out. You can't stop the clock. Okay? Okay. Any questions? We're good. No. We're good. We're yeah. good. Is the pizza to your satisfaction? Looks yeah, good. Looks good. We're ready to go. All right, everyone. So you saw the introduction. I don't think any much more is needed. 40 second record with Mr. Jeff Esper and Joey Chestnut, a tie. I'm not going to beat that today. I'm just being honest. But we're going to have fun. There's a leaderboard over there. I want to get on top of that leaderboard. Raina's going to have some fun as well. So such cool experience. So many people have come out to watch. It's going to be a lot of fun. Seven minutes. Let's go. One last time, guys. Are we ready to go? Yeah. I'm going to keep you updated on the time. I'll let you know when we're at the minute mark and on specific segments of the time. Okay, sounds good. Okay? One more time. Are you ready? Raina? Yeah. Yes. Can I touch it? Before yes, you, you can have your hands on it, but you can't do anything to it. Cool. Okay, cool. Three, two, one, eat! Yeah, go! Woo! Drop it down!
Jeff Esper, Joey Chestnut, you guys are beasts. We all knew that anyway. But of course, everybody, until next time, say happy all the hungry, happy eating. Honestly, I mean, if, you know, generally I say don't do it, we do, but if you want to try it, it's kind of cool. You know what to do. Come on down to Fat Boys. Till next time, everybody. Have a lovely day. everyone so here we are down in New Orleans or New Orleans Bourbon Street by day it is dead. Try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange, uh. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test, uh. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next, yeah He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second This life is a lesson, he got a new engine from pain that's a blessing New focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention I'll leave an impression and take a redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna be me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't And here is the big famous Sight in New Orleans by day. Big church. Pretty impressive, to be honest.
I forget the name, but in front of this great big, like one of the most distinguishable monuments and buildings, the big church here in New Orleans. So it's so crazy to be here. It's actually like a place where I just have to stop and really take your time. You can't just focus on a picture or video. Just to look at the buildings, like they're so unique. It's not, you know, a North American style. It is just, it's a really interesting place. And by day, it's much more different than at night. Everything is very green, all the greenery. You see in this like big old square right here, very, very green and New Orleans. It's pretty cool. Everybody, so we're outside Cafe Dumas, the original Cafe Dumas in the French Quarter. So, what Cafe Dumas is, they serve bonnets, bonnets and coffee. A bonnet is basically kind of like a deep fried croissant. So, yeah, kind of like a donut in a way, but a little bit French twist on it. Not calorie free, but yeah, with one of those things you just gotta try in New Orleans, especially from this location. So, let's give it a go. So here is the famous Cafe du Mont Bonnet. Very powdery, very warm, like very, very hot. Okay, that's good. It's very melt in your mouth. The powdered sugar adds a very interesting texture on it. And of course the sweetness. Burning my fingers. Yeah, rich. I, I, I personally think it's fried in lard. And then the powdered sugar that would caked on like that, it adds a lot to it. It adds a lot to the texture and the mouthfeel. It's almost like kind of caked or burnt on. You know, I would believe there's a thin layer of like icing or something sticking on. It's good. It's very unique. A warm bonnet. Who would have known? And here we have pralines because pecans were everywhere back in the day, so they added sugar and butter or lard and they made candied pralines. Delicious. And here we have Joan of Arc, the maid of Orleans. 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 A gift from the people of France to the citizens of New Orleans. It's pretty interesting. A golden lady on a horse with a golden flag. That's pretty interesting with some cannons. It says uh, 1412 to 1431. So she was only 19 years old? What, she only lived for 19 years? Wow. So for those who stuck around, I'm gonna share with you the strategy behind how I would eat this challenge if I was to do it again. And I do wanna do it again one day because I know I can do it a little quicker. Um, we did this actually already doing a challenge. Um, so I, again, I know I could do it quicker. I don't know how much quicker. I still don't think I could beat the Joey and Jeff record, but I will tell you um, the strategy. So the way I'm eating it now, I think was quite effective for me. Um, definitely, again, it is a pretty thin pizza. It is. I love the way it was cooked. It was cooked perfectly. This is my style of pizza. Where, so again, just getting it into your mouth as quick as you can, being able to swallow it is key. Um, I know when Jeff, Jeff ate it in kind of a similar style, but he kind of rolled it up a little bit more. And then Joey actually basically cut the crust off, ate the soft part that I am now, and then proceeded to the crust. 
So what I would do differently next time is I would stick this beginning the same. Um, again, I know if I was fresh, I'd be able to do it a little bit quicker, but this is what I'd recommend for anybody else as well. Okay, where I ripped it though, see I still have the thin part attached from the crust or attached to the crust. I would leave the crust because the challenge ends when it's all in your mouth. It's not when the you swallow, right? So the crust is seemingly going to be the hardest part to eat as it's chewier, it's thicker. So right now I'm picking up a piece with crust right there, right there. I'm eating crust and soft. That is not what I should have done. And then when I try to swallow it in uh, like I did the um, soft stuff right now, it's getting stuck in my mouth. I'm, you know, borderline choking on it a little bit. So that's not what I should have done. I should have left all the crust. I should have just ripped the soft part off of the crust and left all the crust and just chipmunk the crust. Basically like I, so again, eating the way I'm doing right now, I eat the soft and then I'm gonna take the crust and I'm just gonna shove it in my mouth. I'm just gonna chipmunk it because that's when the challenge ends, right? So like that, and I had way more room in my mouth. So the way I would recommend, the way I would do it and will do it again is eat all the soft, leave the crust, don't try to eat the crust because that crust you know, took me 30 seconds alone and then just shove all the crust in my mouth. So there you go guys, that's a little bit of strategy. That's how I would recommend going about this challenge if you are to do it. Again, you do have seven minutes to do so. And although I'm not encouraging you to try the challenge, I do believe in uh, the power to do as you please. I believe in free will and freedom. Hashtag freedom guys, America. So with that everybody, I'll let you, uh, well, have a lovely evening. Thank you for tuning in to the end. Hope you enjoyed those clips of New Orleans. It was a beautiful place. I really liked Fat Boy's Pizza. The food was great. Um, I can't wait to go back to New Orleans for many, many reasons. And with that, everybody, until next time, au revoir, ciao, um, buenas noches, have a good night, and uh, I appreciate you. I really do. I hope you know that, guys.